So that forms of a natural vegetation, wildlife, linguistic groups, culture groups. They exist over our country. Exist over our country. Approximately, there are the 1200 species of fishes are present in our country. 1200 species of fishes, 8 percentage of the world's total number of amphibians, amphibians, insects, bacteria are present in our country. 8 percentage out of the total world's total number of a stock, amphibians are present in our country, amphibians present in our country. So such kind of a diversifications, diversifications makes or it can be as a categorized under a certain category, such categories which we study under as a natural vegetation. Natural vegetation means as the virgin vegetation. It is also known as the virgin vegetation. Natural vegetation is also known as the virgin vegetation. What it means? When plants and grasses grow without human interference, it's known as the natural vegetation or virgin vegetation. When plants grow without human interference, is known as the, they known as the, Natural vegetation or virgin vegetation. Virgin vegetation. Clear? So natural vegetation, such kind of a diversifications which are occurred in our country in relation to the wildlife and the natural vegetation. These are basically influenced by the certain factors. Factors responsible for the factors responsible for factors responsible for natural vegetation in our country. Natural vegetation in our country. So the number of factors are responsible for it. Number of factors which are responsible for it. In which as the first latitudes, latitudes. Next, second, altitude. Altitude, third, temperature, temperature, fourth, precipitation, precipitation, fourth, precipitation, fifth, sunlight, photo period, sunlight, insulation. Sixth, soils, 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 etc. So let me start from the first latitudes. As we discussed in our previous chapters, our country, it has divided into two parts due to as a tropic of cancer, which passes through the middle of the country. It divides India into the two equal halves. The southern part of a tropic of cancer from Tropic of Cancer towards their south is known as a tropical region and the areas which are lies above of a Tropic of Cancer are the subtropical regions. Subtropical regions. Due to as a such conditions, <clears throat> tropical and uh, subtropical conditions, there are the different types of uh, plants are grow. Specifically in a tropical conditions, there are the tropical evergreen forests are found in a coastal regions, whereas in a subtropical regions, Preferably, as there is a differences of a vegetation from a tropical deciduous forest towards the alpine vegetation when we move towards the higher altitudes. Clear? So latitudes as an important indicator to which or uh, factor to which as the differences in a natural vegetation has occurred on a land. Natural vegetation occurred on land. Clear? Next second is a altitude. When we start to move, as we discussed in the previous chapter in climate. When we move the upward direction, temperature decreases. There is a sudden fall in a temperature when we increase the height, when we move towards the higher altitudes. Higher altitudes. So when we move the upward direction, temperature decreases to the process of a normal lapse rate. Process of normal lapse rate. There is a sudden fall as a sudden fall in temperature occur in regions when we move the upward direction. So same as 
will be moving from a leveled areas from the plain areas towards a higher altitudes they may as a variations in a vegetation form of tropical deciduous in a plains tropical deciduous forest in a plains when we move the upper direction they will be as a alpine vegetation and coniferous forest coniferous forest it's due to as a altitude altitude third temperature 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 as a important factor affecting as a growth of a vegetation growth of vegetation because why because those areas which are experiencing as a high temperature high temperature throughout the year high temperature throughout the year in such area they will be as the different kinds of a plants can be possible to grow temperature but in areas where as a harsh climatic conditions are there harsh extremely cold weather conditions are there in certain areas in such of the area they will be as a <coughs> minimum number of a growth of a vegetation has occurred for example when we move the upper direction in a mountainous regions there are not as a different different kinds of a plants are possible to grow due to as a low temperature due to the low temperature next fourth one is a precipitation rainfall precipitation plants they are helpful for the bringing the rainfall and in those areas where the rain has occurred in a abundance in a larger quantities in such of the areas as a tropical evergreen forest say they are preferred to grow for example the coastal parts of coastal parts of india the western coastal plains of india where basically as the tropical evergreen forests are grow tropical evergreen forests are grow in areas in regions of india's western parts india's western parts where the more rain has occurred the windward sides of the western ghats in such areas tropical evergreen forests are generally occur due to as a high rainfall so such kind of a vegetation basically occur in regions which are receiving as a more than 200 cm annual rainfall more than 200 cm annual rainfall receiving in areas they are known for the existence of tropical evergreen forests same as in northeastern states assam and meghalaya known for the existence of a tropical evergreen forest clear tropical evergreen forest next fifth sunlight 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 is also an important indicator because the, through the process of a sunlight sunlight plants they grow those parts of the earth those parts of the earth where generally as the sunlight has present in a larger quantities in abundance in such areas more growth of the vegetation is occur compared to the other regions for example there is example when we uh, study about the himalayas the northern slopes of the himalayas northern slopes of himalayas means the parts of china himalayas northern slopes in china they are having as a scanty growth of the vegetation compared to the southern slopes of the himalayas as compared to the southern slopes of himalayas yes eva yes good morning sir sir ramnik ka message aa raha hai ki wo enter nahi ho pa rahi class mein aur arsh so sunlight the northern slopes of the himalayas in a parts of china there are, there is generally as the low vegetation grow comparatively the southern slopes of himalayas means the part of india himalayas existence in a part of india they are there is basically as the dense growth of vegetation it's due to the sunlight sunlight as we study when the april movement of the earth movement of the earth around the sun it has responsible for the inclination of a sun rays over earth inclination of sun rays under such circumstances more sunlight has receiving in a tropical regions compared to the subtropical regions as compared to the rest of the world 
torrid zone 23 and a half degree north to the southern parts they are experiencing as a more heat compared to with a compared with a rest of the world means as a temperate or frigid zones as compared to temperate and frigid zones the southern slopes of himalaya are sort a of torrid zone receiving as a more heat so those regions where the more sunlight receiving in such areas as the more growth dense growth of vegetation occur compared with the those which are receiving as a less sunlight means the northern slopes of himalaya are receiving as a less sunlight that's why the low growth of a vegetation comparatively uh, as compared to the southern slopes of himalayas clear next as the soils india in our country there is different kinds of the soils are present so different kinds of soils are responsible for the growth of a different types of a vegetation different types of vegetation for example there are basically as a six category of a soils are present in our country alluvial soils are there mountainous soils arid soils black yellow soils red soils clear laterite soils the such kind of the soils they are the influence of a weathering processes but as per their existence they are also known for their different uh, <coughs> characteristics some of these soils are the rich in a humus organic matter those soils which are the more fertile more So soils, so such kind of a different types of a soils, they are influencing over the growth of a vegetation. For example, as the laterite soils, which are receiving as more rain, they are known for the tropical evergreen forest and a vast land. Laterite soils regions, they are known for the growth of growth of a tropical evergreen forest compared to the that soil which has widely spread over a country. as the alluvial soils known for the tropical deciduous forest so different types of soils supported for the growth of a different types of a vegetation different types of vegetation so these are the important factors which are influencing the growth of a vegetation due to as a such factors there is not as a one category or a limited number of vegetation are there there is a diversified forms of a natural vegetation can possible to grow in our country they grow in our country but as per the existing as per the existing conditions after independence of our country presently the total number total percentage of forest cover present in our country as on 19% 1919% total surface area covered under the forest but this is not a sufficient this is not a sufficient for our country Our country desired as a 33 percentage of a total land area. It should be under the forest cover. It should be covered under the forest. Then the, they will be as a present weather conditions. It will be prevail in our country. But there presently as a 19 percent total surface area under the forest cover. Why? Because of the wrong methodologies, commercialization of agriculture. so reasons responsible for the, what are the reasons or causes responsible for causes responsible for depletion of natural vegetation in our country what are the causes responsible for depletion of natural vegetation in our country first commercialization of agriculture during the british age and after the britishers commercial except over emphasis over the commercialization of agriculture leads to the depleting the forest cover deforestation at the larger scale deforestation at larger scale because of the commercialization of agriculture due to the commercialization of agriculture second second before of the independence shifting cultivation it was legalized but after the independence of our country the government of india banned over a shifting cultivation shifting cultivation it was also one of the reasons responsible for the deforestation in a larger scale third construction of a dams when dams are built at a uh, for the for the multiple uses for which as a larger and extensive area 
forest area these are preferably as a cleared for a reservoir for construction of a dam for construction of or obtain the canals from the from dams so construction of dams are also responsible at some of the extent for the deforestation in our country deforestation in our country next one expansion of a cities urbanization next fourth reason as a urbanization or expansion of cities when we compare the jalandhar with the 40 years back 40 years back jalandhar it was as a uh, smaller in size but due to as increasing the uh, increasing the population large extensive area of a, for, uh, agriculture land occupied for the it's occupied for the with it's occupied for the settlements and their substitute substitute of agriculture land they moved they shifted towards as the forest lands in forest areas depleted depletion depletion or the deforestation responsible for the deforestation occur due for the obtaining a land for agriculture next one as industries expansion of industries industrialization industrialization as we learned earlier forests are given multiple number of goods to our day to day life so for which as a growth of industries they obtain such kind of a wood for the domestic or industrial needs manufacturing of paper example manufacturing of paper paper manufacture on a wood pulp based on the basis of a wood pulp clear so these are the responsible for the depletion of a forest in our country as per the forest department forest department forests are generally categorized into the three categories forests are categorized into the three categories these categories are reserve forest reserve forest protected forest reserve forest protected forest and unclassed this categorization based on a forest department forest department unclassed forest unclassed forest unclassed forest reserved forest protected forest and unclassed forest reserve those forest areas those forest lands which earlier depleted earlier depleted due to the agriculture due to the shifting cultivation but through afforestation through afforestation the planting plantations in such areas planting trees forest cover increasing so reserve forests are those areas those nat naturally ha natural habitats which earlier depleted but through afforestation through afforestation trees are growing in a such areas reserve reserve clear second are the protected those forests which are protected from further depletion further depletion means in such areas deforestation earlier it not occur in future there is no possibilities protected from the depletion are known as a protected forest third are the unclass when plants are grow when forests are grow for the domestic needs when forests grow for domestic and industrial needs means for human use man for timber industry for manufacturing of paper for manufacturing of paper furniture such kind of the forests are known as the unclassed they are known as the unclassed when forests grow for domestic and industrial needs are known as a unclassed why because humans having their needs if their needs it will be not satisfied not growing as a unclassed forest then they will dependent over a reserved and protected forest reserved and protected forest so for domestic and industrial needs of humans they preferably growing as a growing forest for their needs they are known as a unclassed this classification given by the forest department in india forest department 
Till there, any questions? Yes. Ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? Ecosystem where plants grow, plants and wildlife animals they are living. Flora and fauna they are living as they collectively, collectively. So now ecosystem is a ecosystem is a self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of biotic 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 and abiotic sorry abiotic biotic and abiotic components it is a self-sustaining organization of self-sustaining organization of living beings with their natural habitats with their physical environmental conditions or we can see as a biotic and abiotic components biotic and abiotic biotic they constitutes as a flora and fauna and abiotic as a land land soil air water these are the abiotic components when plants grow with relation to their abiotic components land soil water known as the ecosystem when plant biotic components flora and fauna flora denotes as a plant species fauna as the animal species they interact with their abiotic components abiotic components known as the abiotic components known as the ecosystem large size of ecosystems known as a biome large size of ecosystems known as biome b i o m e large size of ecosystems known as biome large size of ecosystems known as the biome for example tundra tundra aquatic biome where the fishes they are interact with their physical environment in water tundra aquatic equatorial equatorial e q u a t o r i e l equatorial etc equatorial etc etc clear so this much for today that's why we will continue on tomorrow tomorrow we will start as the natural vegetation the classification of a natural vegetation classification of vegetation so there are generally as a five types of vegetations are there tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest thorny shrubs thorny shrubs t h o r n y thorny shrubs i am again repeating as a tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest thorny shrubs thorny shrubs mangroves thank you hargun mangroves mangroves alpine vegetation alpine or mountain vegetation m o n t a n e mountain vegetation tomorrow we will start from this clear classification of a forest so this one for today